pag, we will be answering the assessment part of module 14 okay but before you are to we are to proceed can you like share and subscribe to my channel so assessment number one what you call to the resulting y values after we have substituted in the possible x values the answer is range so which of the following is not allowed as the value of the independent variable under the square root sign the answer is negative number okay number three what is the domain and range of the function f of x equal to 5x plus 2? So the domain and range of this is a set of real numbers. Set of real numbers. Or the domain and range are all real numbers. The 30. Number 4. What is the inverse of f of x equal to 9x plus 5? And to solve this one, change f of x into y. So y equals 9x plus 5. Then, then interchange the position of y and x. y becomes x and x becomes y. So, x is equal to 9y plus 5. Solve for the value of y. Transpose positive 5 to the left side. That becomes negative 5 equals 9y. Divide both side by 9. Divide both side by 9. So, this is actually multiplication property of equality. So, therefore, the inverse of this is equal to x minus 5 over 9. x minus 5 over 9. The answer is letter a. So, which of the following pair of functions is not the inverse of each other? The answer is none. All of them are inverses. Okay. Number 4. 6 to 10, consider the function f of x equal to 3 over x minus 2. Now, what is the domain of the function? So, the domain of the function is, to find the domain of the function is to equate the denominator into 0. So, x minus 2 equal to 0. So, x equal to 2. So, this is our vertical asymptote. And the domain is a set of x such that x should that be equal to 2. Okay, it's letter C. What is the range of the function? So, the range of the function, so since this function the degree of the numerator is one lesser than the degree of the denominator this is a degree of zero this is a degree of one so therefore its horizontal asymptote is zero or the x-axis so therefore our range is set of y such that y is not equal to zero number eight what is the inverse of the function okay we will be finding out the inverse of this function so y equals three over x minus two so x equal to interchange the position of x and y so x becomes y Oh, no. Y becomes X and X becomes Y. So, X equal to 3 over Y minus 2. Now, cross product, X times Y minus 2 equals 3. Then, distributive X times Y, that's XY. X minus X times negative 2, that's negative 2X equal to 3. Then, transpose negative 2X to the right side, becomes positive 2X. Then, XY equals 3 plus 2X. Okay. Uh, divide both side by x, divide both side by x, so therefore y equals 2x plus 3 over x on the inverse part. So the inverse of this is equal to 2x plus 3 over x. Number 9, what is the domain of the inverse? So the domain of the inverse, the domain of the inverse is greater than 0. Should not be equal to 0. So the x should not be equal to 0. And the range is should not be equal to because the horizontal asymptote of this is uh, 2 because they have the same degree, the numerator and denominator. So 2 divided by 1, that's 2. And also, the domain of this, the domain of this is the range of this. And the range of this is the domain of this. So the domain of this is not equal to 2. So therefore, the range of this should not be equal to 2. Here we see it. They are the same. Okay. Next, for numbers 11 to 15, consider the function f of x equal to square root of x minus 1. So, what is the domain of the function? So, the domain of the function is this should not be equal, this should not be negative. The radicand should not be negative. So, this should be x should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So, the domain is a set of x so that x is greater than or equal to 1. So this should be greater than or equal to 1. What all you have to do is to equate x minus 1, uh, set an inequality for this. x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So x is greater than or equal to 1. Here is it. Okay, what is the range of the function? So the range of the function ranges from 0 to positive infinity. So therefore, r, the set of y such that y should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, number 13, what is the inverse of the function? So, our given function is function of x equal to square root of x minus 1. So, change f of x into y. So, y equals square root of x minus 1. 
then interchange the position of y and x so y becomes x and x becomes y so x is equal to square root of x minus 1 solve for the value of y what you are going to do is to put square on left and right side uh, on right side and left side so we have here put a square x squared is equal to the square of this so this is cancelled the square the, the radical sign and the square is cancelled so therefore x squared is equal to y minus 1 so transpose negative 1 to the right side to, to the left side I mean so it becomes x squared plus 1 so y equal to x squared plus 1 so the inverse of this is equal to x squared plus 1 now to find the domain of the inverse function is based on the range of the given function so this is the given function and the range of this is greater than or equal to 0 so y is greater than or equal to 0 so therefore the domain of this is x should be greater than or equal to 0 and here the range of this is based on the domain of this the domain of this is greater than or equal to 1 so therefore our range is greater than or equal to 1 thank you